Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today's video is gonna be a little casual. I'm basically just going to take a few minutes and walk you through my Notion setup. So I haven't done one of these in a while, and I wanted to just kind of give you an idea for what I'm using Notion for today. So let's just jump into the screen share, and maybe you'll get some ideas from this. There's only a few different kind of types of boards I use, so it should be pretty quick, but those are famous last words. So now that we're in the screen share, uh, you can see I've got a whole bunch of pages over here on the left, and we'll go into about half of these. The first one that I think is really, really useful and is not something I see a lot out there is a wish list. So these are just things that I'd like to purchase, right? Uh, so we've got these items. Uh, this one obviously isn't a real one. Uh, we'll delete that. Uh, but basically, I have this kind of just table view that has nice objects, household items, tech items, and entertainment, right? And each one has properties um, like where was it purchased? What area does it go into? Do I have a comment about it? Um, cost, like what does what's the cost for it? Do I consider it giftable? And this last one is what's really convenient about this and why I started making this in the first place is. There are things that I want to purchase, right? And some of them are very expensive and I don't own them today because, well, they're just too expensive. I need to save up for them or I want to buy other things or whatever. Um, but there's also things that aren't expensive and I like I couldn't buy. They're just not top priorities and I just haven't gotten them yet, but they would be nice giftable items. So at the end of the year, when my family, like my dad will email out and say, hey, do you have any gift ideas for Christmas? I have a thing to give them. So this page is private. This wish list is private. Uh, no one else can see it outside of, I guess, everyone watching this video. Um, but for all the things that are giftable, I actually have this separate view called uh, Matt, Gifts, Matt Gift Ideas. And if I go into this, you can see it's got all these things which aren't really useful here. But what is useful is I have a view of the same information. I basically set this up to show my wish list, uh, but it has a different layout. So it has a card layout. So if I go here, um, or gallery, I guess, is the layout. So I can change this to anything, right? I can make it a table just like the other one. I can make it a board, which doesn't make a ton of sense here. But gallery is friendly and lets kind of people go to this page and they'll see um, pictures of the products, which aren't loading now because I think Notion is being a little weird. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why it's being weird. But uh, it would show pictures here. You saw them a second ago, and it just lets them be like, oh, this is $19 at Target. I can click the link and go to Target.com and purchase the thing, and that's it. Um, and only things that I show as giftable are going to be on here, right? So like this uh, $200 Apple Watch grid art thing, not going to be on the list. I'm not going to ask my family to spend $200 on me. But these playing cards, 13 bucks. Sure, that's no big deal. So um, this is really, really nice. Uh, I could go into detail on how this works, but the video is going to be way too long. But basically, I have an item that with no area, and then down here you can embed uh, other views. So I just embedded the wish list with different um, view options. But yeah, that's the wish list. I really, really like that. The thing that I spend the most time in, though, is this. This is the board for a better computer. So for YouTube, I like to have ideas. I like to keep track of what's in production. And inside, like each one of these are going to be a bunch of notes. I'll show you those in a second. Um, after I create a video and upload it to YouTube, I need to archive it. So this is archiving to my local storage. I have a NAS set up that just stores all of the video files and thumbnails and everything. So I have a personal backup of everything. And once those are archived, I put them in completed. So I have some ideas over here, not a ton, um, but these are things that I'd like to work on in the future. These are ones I'm actively working on. And yeah, those are the two statuses. And these are ones that I canceled because I didn't actually find them that interesting. So uh, you can see twice I wanted to do browser videos and end up doing it. Um, yeah, and this NFT one is real spicy. I actually made a lot of the video and then it just wasn't. I didn't want to post the video, so <laughs> that one didn't end up happening. Um, but when I go into one of these, you can kind of see what I've got here. And basically, this is all the stuff you'd get from YouTube. So this is the title that I used, the number in the list. So basically, I number each video. So this is the 255th video I produced for the channel. Uh, the status again, when I published it, the URL, uh, so I don't have to like go to YouTube and find it. I can just find it in Notion. I have a backup of my thumbnail and any related files. So I have like an image file here that had some pricing I wanted to make sure I was able to access quickly. Uh, and then I have kind of this is the YouTube description. Uh, I have some questions I wanted to answer. These are the this is the script that I worked from uh, for the video. This was an old script which I completely rewrote for the second try. And then I had some general thoughts at the bottom. Um, but yeah, so all of it lives in Notion. 
one day I should probably do a big export and just make sure I have a personal copy of this as well. But Notion is a really convenient place to have this. And if I ever want to do like, uh, let's look at all the videos I did about Notion. I can see uh, I did one video 208, video 174, uh, video 19, right? So I can go all the way back here. And I didn't do video titles back here. I didn't do everything that I do today, uh, but I still have this thumbnail. So I could go ahead and download this if I wanted. I could. Uh, link to this, just copy this to the clipboard really quickly. I can tell when I published it. Um, all that's just really easy to access from this one place, and that's really, really nice. So that's how I use it for YouTube. Burst Tree Gaming is exactly the same, and this channel is on hiatus. It might come back if I ever make this video, and I'm happy with it, but um, yeah, same idea. Quick Reviews is, again, I'm using the board, the Kanban board style thing where I have a backlog ready for dev in progress and completed. This is for my quickreviews.app website uh, where I basically let you create nice little reviews you can post on social media for media. Um, and so these are all the things that I've added in the past. Feature requests go into the backlog. Once I'm ready to work on them, uh, they go into ready for dev. And then once I'm working on them, they go to in progress and everything. And there's really not a lot here. It's literally just like I use the title and that's yet <laughs> but so this one's pretty simple this next one is really exciting this one's called matter um it's a mad there's a matter plugin that will sync your uh highlights that you highlight in matter matter is a read it later service like pocket or instagram or insta paper uh that you can use to um just read things for later and nice views and everything and when you highlight things in matter you can have them sync over to notion so here's an article called an ode to apple's hide my email uh and it pulls in all this information right so when was it created uh the highlight was a week ago uh here's a link to it uh here's the publisher the title the type of thing it was um, and then here's what I highlighted right and so if I go kind of down here it's the same thing uh, and you can see a whole bunch down here um, right so just tons and tons of highlights and it's nice to have these kind of backed up in a place that I can go to there's also a plugin to do this in obsidian uh, so I use both of them but it's nice to have them here and I use this often for uh, finding links to link to on my blog or for um, in my, for my weekly newsletter or something like that. So this one's really, really nice and totally free. And I think the last one we're gonna look at is this one. So this one's called 2022. And this is basically what do I want to accomplish this year? And I trimmed this down a little bit for the video because I don't wanna show every single thing. Um, but basically these are some things that I wanna do this year. Uh, one has already been achieved. So buy a house, achieved that a couple weeks ago, which was super, super exciting, stressful, but exciting. Um, and then there's some things I wanna get done, right? I wanna get a large print of one of my photographs. Still haven't done that. If I go into one of these, um, basically there's a status, to do or done. Uh, there's a tag, so where does it fall in kind of like these categories? It's not super important, but I like to have it there. And then I put a date on it once I accomplish the thing. Uh, so would like to do that, uh, get 10,000 subscribers. This would be a great time for me to say like and subscribe. Um, bake a loaf of bread. This is literally just me buying the ingredients and looking up a recipe. Uh, this one's so easy, I should really get this done. Maybe once I'm moved in and things are a little less stressful. Um, change job titles, not looking for a new job, just looking to get a different role at the current company that I'm at. So that's gonna be a big one that I hope I'll finish uh, pretty soon. Um, but you don't care about that. That doesn't really impact you at all. Um, and then become a prominent software tutorial voice in the Mac niche, niche, pff, niche. Um, yeah. I don't know if I've already achieved that. Maybe I have, I guess it depends who you ask, but um, I want it to be unquestionable that that's um, a role that I have. So uh, those are the things that I'm working on this year and I just kind of keep track of them in Notion. I have another one that I'm definitely not gonna go into called Trajectory, which are like kind of my broad life goals, um, things that I wanna get done on like the five, 10, 40 year scale. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm not going into that because that's way more than I want to share on this channel. <laughs> I share a lot on this channel, but I'm not going to share that. Um, yeah, it's but it's it's basically the same idea. Um, so this is uh, just the last couple ones. Uh, ScreenFlow course that I want to do. I want to kind of do a full deep dive into ScreenFlow. I did one kind of about a year or two years ago. I would like to do it again. So I'm kind of breaking that down into what sections I would want to do there. Uh, not going into that. These are 2021 goals. 
Uh, this one I could probably go into, this is the sort of thing that I create when I work with uh, clients on videos. Uh, so I made some videos with uh, Flexibits on Card Hop and Fantastical. Um, so they uh, have never sponsored a video on a better computer. Just want to make that clear. Um, I've made every single video I've made on a better computer is because I wanted to make it. Um, but we did work together on some stuff for their channel. Um, but basically, whenever we do one of these projects, uh, I'll set things up as like, here's all the videos we want to make. Uh, when one is with me to do something, it gets moved over to the with Matt status with whoever I'm working with. It'll go into their status when I want them to review it or I need notes from them or something. And then once it's completed, uh, we put them over here. And this is gonna look very similar to the YouTube stuff I did. Um, so if we do like this one, you can see kind of the status, the due date. So when was it due to them? Um, here's a link to download the uh, the video file. Here's the video number in our list. Um, there's a thumbnail again, so they can upload it to their channel. Uh, here's what I suggest for the YouTube description and just other stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, what I use Notion for. Uh, there's a little bit more that we didn't dive into, but you kind of get the idea. Um, they're all just, just variations on kind of the same things, but hopefully this was helpful to you and gave you some ideas, especially this wish list. Um, if you want, let me know in the comments. I could maybe make a dedicated uh, video on how to set this up. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.